these guys are just about ready to pick. I think these guys are actually ready. That's what we're looking for. Good evening guys, Jordan here with the Nutty Gnome Homestead. It is, it is mid-August 2023 and as you guys can see our elderberries are ready to pick. We, uh, we grow three different varieties of elderberries here on our farm. We make wine, jelly, jam, elderberry gummies, uh, elderberry syrup. Uh, we do a lot with the elderberries. Uh, elderberries are really good for boosting the immune system, especially this time of year with the kiddos going back to school. They're going to be bringing home everything and getting everybody sick. So we're going to go ahead and pick some of these elderberries and we'll, uh, we'll show you how we go ahead and process them and make uh, elderberry syrup, elderberry gummies, and possibly some elderberry wine. So y'all stay with us. So what you're looking for with the elderberries is you're looking for the majority of the, the berries to be a dark purple or almost a black color. As you can see on this cluster here, it's about 50-50 where we got some that are uh, light purple and some that are a dark purple. I'll actually leave this cluster for a couple more days. You can even see some of the green berries in there. You don't want that. This could... Uh, taint an entire batch we don't want to deal with that like I said a couple more days isn't gonna hurt us however if you look a little deeper into this patch those guys are ready to go that batch is all dark purple that's a thing of beauty guys this is natural medicine They've been using it for centuries, and it grows in your backyard. All we're going to do is we're going to pick it, and then we're going to stick it in the freezer overnight. And then tomorrow, we'll come out here and we'll shake all these berries off, and then we'll go ahead and process them. Okay, guys, so as you can see, we have these dark black elderberries right here. Uh, these are the native elderberries. I do have two different varieties here on the farm. We are going to go ahead and start collecting these, and we're going to make a tincture with these today, I believe. But I'm also going to uh, process some into a syrup, and also I think I'm going to make some wine as well. So this is really simple. All you do, clip them off, and put them in a bucket. We will take this bucket, we'll put it in the, the freezer overnight. Once these berries are frozen... They pop right off of these stems, and it's real easy to separate the berry from the stem. Alright, so what we have here is an unripe, close to ripe, but unripe head of uh, black elderberries. As you can see, there's a couple of green ones. Uh, these are kind of a mauve purple color. They're not quite a real dark purple or a black. Let me turn you guys around. So, this is a really good example of a head of elderberries that should be left to ripen up for a couple more days. We're pretty fortunate that this variety, the heads hang down, so we don't have too many of the birds come in here and, and get them. As you guys can see, these heads just hang upside down, so the birds have a real difficult time getting to them. This head right here, as you can see, is almost all black. Dark purple or black. This is a good head. It's real heavy. You can feel it hanging on here. Here's another one. They're real dark. These are the good berries that we're going to be picking today. So, I'm doing this one-handed, guys. I'm going to come through here. And then right into our pot. Okay, guys. So, I've got my stock pot just about full. I've already filled up one of these the other day when we had some ripe so we're uh, not getting as many elderberries this year as we did last year I think the drought had a lot to do with that uh, we did lose quite a few of our elderberries but I do want to show you guys uh, a little bit of identification between elderberry and one of the common lookalikes as you guys can see this leaf here this is a common elderberry uh, Sambucus canadensis found across North America and these guys are just about any kind of uh, disturbed fence row, field edge, 
driveway cut. You guys can find these just about anywhere there's some sort of disturbance in the soil where you're not going to get a lot of trees growing up. What we have here is a look-alike. Well, it doesn't really look like it to me, but this is the common pokeweed. As you guys can see, look at the berry clusters. These grow in two totally different forms. Elderberries, they grow in a form that hang upside down. The berry clusters on poke, they grow on just one leaf or one stem down and they alternate the berries all the way down. There's one that's immature. They do grow in the same areas. As you guys can see, these are grown right beside each other. The elderberry has kind of this corky wood on it and the, the leaves are alternating opposite of each other all the way up and down the stem. If you look over here at the poke, it has this kind of green grassy type stalk and whenever you break it, it kind of has this green vegetated look all the way through it. When you break elderberry, it doesn't quite look like that, in my opinion anyway. So we want to make sure that we don't get these. Poke is useful for some things, but we're not going to get into that today. So we just come through here and we break it down as we see it. I don't want it competing for light and resources. So that's all there is to it, folks. I'm going to go over here and collect some more berries. Okay guys, we're over at another part of our property that has some more elderberries on it. And here is a good example of what pokeberries look like versus elderberries. I've got the elderberries growing right here in the back. And I literally have a string of pokeberries growing right here beside it. They kind of have the same black sheen to it, but they grow in completely different forms. There should not be any mixing them up. This is poke right here. This is elderberry. This is mature poke berries right here. So you guys can familiarize them yourself. There's some more. So this is one of those things where if you're going to go out and forage, you should definitely know what you're foraging for. This is mature and some immature and totally unripe pokeberries. We're not going to be using these today. Like I said, they do have some uses. Uh, you can use the, the poke root for sure, but this is not what we're after. Those elderberries are what we're after today, guys. So as you guys can see, we have a stock pot full of freshly picked black elderberries here. I'm going to go ahead and put these guys in the freezer overnight. That's going to kill off any bugs that are on them. And it's going to make these berries pop off of these stems really easy. Uh, you guys can put these in a uh, brown paper bag and put them in there. I just have a five gallon bucket in the freezer. Stick it in there, shake them out the next day. It does pretty good. So I'll bring you guys back for some of that. Okay, so I put those elderberries in a grocery sack. Put them in the freezer uh, at least four hours. Overnight's better if you can. And as you guys can see, just by shaking the bag a little bit, most all of these berries have already come off. And we're in the process of uh, filling up our bucket over here for today's purposes. And all these are black. What you're seeing here is the, the frost on them from from being in the freezer. So we are going to go ahead and get these guys shaken off, separated, and put in the put in our pot here. We're gonna take you guys inside and we're gonna make something with them. Well, that's all there is to uh, collecting and picking black elderberries. It's really not that difficult. You guys can get out there and pick them this time of year. We're in zone 6B. I got probably about two more weeks of berry picking to do. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to shoot me a message down below or contact us over on Nutty Gnome Homestead on uh, Facebook. I'd really appreciate it if you guys like, share, and subscribe. So until next time, 
Guys, get out there and collect your elderberries. I'll be showing you guys here real soon how to make elderberry syrup, elderberry wine, and elderberry gummies.